So we're joined uh, by the founder of Axpay. It's a pleasure. Into the Viper's Nest, the heart of the hard left. The heart of, yeah. This is Thomas Wellington. Thanks for joining us, Thomas. It's a pleasure, Aaron. Pleasure, Michael. Um, we've had a bit of um, uh, how can you put pushback from our audience, but we thought it's important. It's a big story. So much for the tolerant left. Well, I mean, let's yeah. keep. We're going to keep this about you, mate. We're going to keep this exactly. Let's let's just uh, try and keep it civilized. Folks on Axpay, it's a big story. Um, Activate has sought to identify itself as a sort of Tory analogue to um, Momentum. There's been some teething problems, it's fair to say. First question, will Activate be carrying on? Um, is it over? What's the, what's the score? It's been a trying few weeks. We've had um, a split in the organisation. We've had a couple of controversies. Um, the, there was one group of, of Activate who wanted to be a kind of... Uh, a Theresa May fan club, no real political vision. Um, they are gone. We are now focused on getting the next Prime Minister of Britain into number 10. And who's that? Jacob Briggs Mogg. Right. We've got momentum on our side. Mm. Uh, nothing's going to stop us now. Right. So this is the split um, within Activate is pro May and pro Mogg. Pro Mogg. So that's the split. So the pro May is they're gone. Don't think about them. Yeah, they're gone. I mean, so they're gone. I mean, they're, 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 well, I, I know there's a split, but I wasn't. I was. It was unclear to me until today that this was why. They might be at their branch meetings. They might. But activate nothing to do with them. Right. Okay. Uh, were you aware of the WhatsApp group and the comments made in regard to gassing chavs? Children. Right. You know, whom's among us as children? But they're gone. You know, we have laws in this country. Yeah. We have conservative values. Yeah. And they're gone. Yeah, it is illegal to gas people in this country. It is, yeah, it is very much against the law. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, morally, do you not find it quite problematic as well? Forget the law for a second. Do you not disagree with it morally? With conservative values. Right. They, you know, everyone... I mean, you've got, you've got to understand the reaction to this by most people hasn't been, these are just children. Most people don't think of children and think they talk in WhatsApp group about gassing mm. chavs. And I think what most people would, would say uh, is that your organisation is only going to attract people who are, who have some quite unpleasant views about the world, actually. I mean, how are you trying to attract young people to conservatism? And are we not going to see scandal after scandal after scandal of people who fundamentally want to promote hate? We're not living in a world of polished um, people, you know, managerial politics, uh, David Cameron, Tony Blair, um, Clinton, you know, we have, uh, we're in an age of Sanders, Trump, Corbyn, you know, so the people coming from the grassroots, they want to be, you want to be the UK alt-right. You, you said Trump, pr presumably you're Trump, you're not Sanders or Corbyn. You want to be the UK alt-right. Pepe Frogs, Richard Spencer. I mean, I think memes have their place. Um, are we the alt-right? It's different culture, it's different political culture. But you, you said that you identify conservative values. You're backing Jacob Rees-Mogg. You've just drawn... He's a true Tory. He's a true Briton. But you said you, you, you don't like the politics even of a David Cameron. And you identified him as somebody, you know, on a par with Clinton or Blair. So what are those conservative values? If they're not the values of David Cameron, but then you're citing a sort of political moment we're in and you're identifying Trump. I mean, what are those conservative values? It's traditional values of, I mean, look at Jacob Rees-Mogg. He has, you know, a air about him, right. which harkens back to better times of, you know, prosperity where we made things. Right. And this is something Trump uh, talks about. But what, I understand he's posh, but what's that got to do with an industrial policy? I mean, do you have any policies? We're the, does Momentum have any policies? Well, that's a good point, I suppose. That's a good question. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but it, it has an agenda that drives it, and they're open about that. We progressive want. value. I mean, they're progressive values are more democratic society, a more equal society. So, what does Activate actually want? When Jacob Rees Mogg into number 10 with his family, his pets, the entire estate, the Mogg estate, will be in number 10. All right, let's forget, the let's forget the motivations, let's forget the politics or what drives you. Do you have the power? to get Jacob Rees-Mogg into number 10. How's this going to happen? Yeah. Are there Tory MPs who want the same thing as you, do you think? I mean, that's for the Conservative 
party to decide. Right. Uh, we are an independent organisation, um, and we will lobby our local MPs right. as Momentum does. Right. Okay. Well, I think that's. Yeah, I think that's all we need to know. Yeah. I mean, what what next for Activa? What's the next big? We thing? have a press release. Yeah. We are breaking with the leadership of the Conservative Party. Yeah. We are going hard for Jacob Rees-Mogg. And he, you can see on our Twitter page, we have a press release, and it is online. The only Activate page on Twitter. Go on there, our press release is there, join the movement. That's Activate Britain, there's obviously a number of parodies, but that's the real one. And It's a grassroots movement, you're going to have parodies. Well, as, as Momentum has a lot of parodies, yeah. to be yeah. fair. Okay, well thanks for that, Thomas. Um, we are back next Monday. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's it. We're doing a Tisky Sour this week. Yeah, we're going to do Tisky Sour and this I, week. And I think Navarra FM is back on Friday. But we will mm. see you on The Fix next Monday. You've been wonderful. See you next week.